Hello everybody, it's Owen Ogletree. We're here in Greenville, South Carolina. We're at Barley's Tap Room in the center of downtown. Tonight is July 27th, 2009. We're doing a De Proof uh, beer dinner. It's a beautiful brewery uh, in Belgium. And this is the collaboration, the Proof Beer Dinner, where we're having beers uh, made with all of the Proof collaborative beers, served with all kinds of different food entrees. Barley's Tap Room is a fantastic beer bar in Greenville, South Carolina. Serve great pizza, a huge range of beers. Let's go check out the bar over here. If you've never been to Barley's, one in Asheville, North Carolina. There's the tap range. Let's get some quotes from some people here about the beer dinner tonight. Look at this crowd. Be it 
uh, pan frying the uh, grilling, you're going to caramelize the outside of whatever you're cooking. So the amber really pairs very nicely and gives you a diverse array of food. And then, and then the other beer that uh, I'm kind of here for really to try out and represent the brewery with is the Van Tweet from uh, De Proof. Uh, Bell's was the Midwest uh, collaboration uh, for uh, uh, De Proof and uh, SBS. And uh, we took a little bit of Michigan with us. Uh, Belgium and, his, and actually uh, Michigan are on very much a, a similar uh, longitude of life. And we also grow a phenomenal cherry. In, in Belgium, you have the, the, the Charbonne Creek cherry. In Belgium, you are in uh, Michigan. You actually have the Montmorency cherry, which we use 100% in our cherry now. So we took a little bit of that juice over, as well as something that we know from Bell's, which is the production of dark ale. We're talking stout. And we took a very stout type beer, pretty much more like a, a strong quarter recipe, over to Belgium. John, John Mallet, who without a doubt is, if he's not the best brewing engineer in the world, he's one of the top five in the world. And we have him at Bell's Brewery between working with him and Larry Bell, who's kind of the creative aspect of the brewery, we're able to put together this phenomenal recipe. And of course, Dirk Notes, uh, who works with uh, the, brew, uh, the brewmaster there. The collaboration of two of the two of the finest brewing engineers probably in the world, working side by side and, and making, uh, making a tremendous beer. With our dessert course, right? Dessert course, too. Yeah, looking forward to it. Yeah, excellent. It's one of the real special treats that we're about for you because uh, out in the West Coast, where they're very well known for brewing really, really yummy and delicious beer, um, there's a couple of breweries in particular out there that are just better than the rest. So. Uh, one of them is, is Paul Brewing, the owner of uh, Tommy Arthur out Hosting there, he also tonight. has a Belgian lineup that he does, which is Lost Abbey, so I'm going to be a So, unfortunately, we don't get Lost Abbey in uh, Greenville, um, but for this one, Alan knows a few people, one really important one being Tommy Arthur, had a meeting with Tommy and said, oh, we're doing this beer dinner, can you get some beer? So, it's been a lot of work with FedEx in the last couple of weeks, and this is one of the results of that. So we've got a uh, great farmhouse ale from Lost Abbey out in California. Um, that's the collaborative brew that you did with this first beer that we had. And Alan will talk a little bit more about that. Uh, but what we did with this, it's a farmhouse ale, real earthy flavor, so I thought, what better than a real earthy soup? Um, so we've taken a Belgian twist on the old classic French onion. I um, hope you really like it. It should be delicious. I'm going to go do that and pass that to Alan and tell you a little bit more about that. <laughs> Josh, come back. So, real quick, tell us, uh, tell, you, tell us why you do the beer dinners. Why is this worth it? It's a lot of work. So why do you, it is. Why do you do this? It's about the most fun I can have. I love cooking. It's one of my passions. And when I can bring beer and food together, it's... I mean, it's perfect for me. So we do it really more as, as a fun and a promotional gig, but at the same time, it's it, it's a great thing. So, and it, it does well for beer. It, it shows everyone that beer is so versatile, more so than wine sometimes. So it's really good deal. That's why we do it. Thanks for doing that. It's great. Absolutely. Thank you. Crazy system at this pizza parlor that was held together by a couple ounces of wine and duct tape. And he created some of the world, really, world's best beers, Michael Jackson, the beer writer about the respect that had Always forget, always forget that word alleged. Um, you know, uh, especially his cuvee and Tommy, he was very imaginative, unique Belgian yeast strains of Britannomyces that talked about unique ingredients like raisins, etc. cetera. Uh, pizza Port evolved into Port Brewing, and uh, they are known for really hot, forward, West Coast styles, and they all shark pipe red and white pie IPA. And then uh, they, with Stone Brewing in the San Diego area, moved into their new facility. Just spectacular if you ever get a chance to visit. Um, uh, Long Savvy took possession of the old stone brewery. So, if you've never been to a beer dinner, you don't know what you're missing. Uh, you like craft Long beer, Savvy make it out, try some beers, try a great beer dinner so this like this one at Barley's in Greenville.